What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and we're gonna be playing a horror game today. This game is called Indigo Park and uh, it's fairly new. I've heard a couple things on it. I've heard that it's actually a pretty good game. Uh, I have an idea of kind of what it's about. It kind of reminds me of um, what's it called? Uh, Poppy Playtime. That's kind of what I get the idea from but we're gonna hop right into a game and give it a try. I know that this is the first chapter. It's the only chapter that's out so far. But uh, if this video does really well, I'll continue to make more videos on these, and uh, we'll do the rest of the chapters. For all who journey to this newfound paradise, we welcome you. Indigo Park offers a slice of the American dream to call your own. In this place, echoes of days gone are brought back to life as a new generation captures a glimpse of the exciting potential of tomorrow. Indigo Park pays homage to the values, dreams, and unwavering truths that gave rise to our great nation. Here you embark on the journey of a lifetime, a place of creativity, joy, and fantasy, where your dreams come Chapter 1, Birds of a Feather. I'm actually quite excited for this game, to be honest with you guys. Um, I've been wanting to do more horror games. I've actually been thinking about doing Alien Isolation, but I'm in between doing that because it's so old. I don't know if I should just maybe go and do something that's more new. If you guys do want to see Alien Isolation, though, I can definitely make that happen. It's always been a game that I've wanted to play. But the game does scare the shit out of me. Like I've seen gameplay on the game. I've you know seen bits and pieces of it. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow, this game actually looks really good. That little flashlight thing is strong. Me, I've never played a game like that before. All right, so F's for a flashlight. I'll keep that bitch on. I'm sorry if I sound a little bit congested. I feel like I'm getting a little bit sick. What's this? Collectible. There's another one right here. Oh, we can sprint too. It is another one. All right. Hi there, and welcome to Indigo Park! The world's right. most innovative and engaging family fun experience. Jump into the world of your favorite character. Wait, you're our first guest in 2,920 days, 4 hours, 23 minutes, and 38 seconds. Congratulations! I'm Rambly, Rambly the Raccoon, and it's my job to make sure your experience here at Indigo Park is the most fun it can be. Just hop on over to the registration center to your left, where our friendly assistant will help you begin your adventure in the park. This is, this is, like, before we continue with this game, this is really cool. Like, the, like I understand it's a horror game, and I shouldn't be so excited right now, but this is freaking cool. There we go. I'm Rambly, Rambly the Raccoon, and it's my job to make sure your experience here at Indigo Park is registered. Let me just get a good look at you. Hmm, you don't seem to have your face in our guest list. Is this your first time here at the park, or did you just get plastic surgery? No worries, it's Rambly Tuesday, so you qualify for a big discount on your visit. Just follow me to the main gate. Ooh, I can't wait for you to see everything Indigo Park has to offer. Wait, was he saying it was, it's Tuesday when on this screen right here it was saying that it was October 7th, Saturday? Is that actually the date or is it just 
It's just outdated. I don't know. That's... Okay, so I meet Rambly at the park's main gate. So I believe that's that gate right over there. What's the hold up? The gate is open. Head on into the entryway. It's definitely not open, brother. Hmm, hold on. My mistake. The gate is not open. Yeah, <laughs> it's not open. An error message being sent from the gate's power unit. Lucky you! You get to be the first person to try our turn on the generator mini rambly venture. Have fun. One thing I can't like get over is like the flashlight, like how it moves, like how my hands moving like that. That's awesome. I've never played a game like that before, and it's really freaking cool. All right, so I'm assuming I just gotta follow this wire. So back in this room. Oh, this is now open. Indigo Violet Compact Power Generator. But it seems to be inoperable. Looks like it's missing a piece. Can you find it? Alright, so now we gotta find the piece. Yep. There we go. Sweet. I'm gonna pull this down. All right. There we go. So yeah, I think this game is more like a poppy playtime type of thing where they're going to do chapters and whatnot. And... Okay, for real this time. Welcome to Indigo Park. Wow, it has been quite some time since people have been here. He said like 2,000 or something days, but like... what What is that? That's like what? Five years? Four or five years? Hold on, I, I gotta I gotta pull up the calculator. That <laughs> I don't want to seem like an idiot. Yeah, like maybe a little bit more than five years, like you know, five and a half or whatever, but pretty close. Uh, so now where am I supposed to go? Oh, the collectible, maybe? Yep. Sweet. Um Oh, silly Rambly. Every guest needs a critter cup. That will allow you access to reserve areas, charge payments to your room, and wear a critter cup. I think there's some in the gift shop. Head in there and I'll get you set up. Alright. Are these all collectibles? Oh no, I can't grab these ones. There you go, buddy. Your very own critter cup. A new way to interact with the park. That also doubles as a pedometer, art monitor, and moon ring. Data disclosure is just want to make sure I can't grab any of these. Kind of cool if I could uh, get all the collectibles. Okay, can't go that way. Sweet. But yeah, like I was saying, I think uh, this game is like Poppy Playtime. Just animatronics or something. I don't really, I, like I said, I haven't watched videos on the game. I've seen like clips or whatever of it and I've heard good things about it, but <clears throat> I haven't seen a whole bunch on the game. But I, ha I get the general idea of the game. I've always considered doing Poppy Playtime as well, but um, I don't know. I feel like uh, that game, I feel like everybody's kind of done it. I can't get over how good this game looks. Like, it looks really, really nice. Alright, so, uh... I think we're supposed to go that way. So, I'm going to take a look over here, see if there's anything... Collectible-wise. Which, it does not appear that there is. So... We shall continue on our journey. This game, this game is very impressive so far. I, I might be a psycho for saying this, but I really hope that it's scary too. Because right now it does not feel scary, but it's also just the buildup of the game. A lot of horror games don't, you know, off rip just scare the shit out of you. I'm sure some do, but let's see if there's any collectibles in here.
Okay. Nothing in this one. Check the woman's real quick. There we go. On the collectible. Sweet. All right. I'm assuming we gotta head down that way. In our desk, buddy. Looks like the park is going through some renovations. For the inconvenience, your Ramley Tuesday discount will be three percent off. Why not celebrate this great deal with a ride on my railroad? To test your smoothing skills, I'll let you find this one all by yourself. Imagine if AI gets that advanced where, like, it's practically just running an amusement park. Like, that's that's pretty crazy to think about. All right, that seems a little, a little creepy. The hallways are getting tighter. What the fuck was that? Your facial data suggests you may be a bit older than the target audience for this ride. Hold on, bitch, shut up. Something just, something's moving around over here. Do you know why Rambly the raccoon loves Rambly's raccoon? Hold on, hold on. We can, we can talk about that in a second, princess. Let me find out what the hell's in here. I swear to God, I saw something move. I swear it looked like a bird tail. Like, it looked like uh, that little poster thing that was over there when we were walking by, like, over that direction. I promise I'm not crazy. Oh, I need a drink of water. To Rambly's Railroad. I'm Conductor Rambly. Why does someone tell me that he's like not as good like he makes himself out to be? Oh look, it's Molly McCaw. It's Molly McCaw. Yeah, that bitch. That's the tail I saw. <laughs> this guy's funny, but I bet you he's probably the most terrifying one out of all of them. Not as close. Doesn't mean that we probably st we'll probably still go in there. Oh man, bullshit's already starting, ain't it? I don't like this. Oh man. There's a gear right here. I think we need two this time. So I gotta find a second one. Up oh, there it is. Alright. Is there a lever I gotta pull this time? this I think we're good I don't think there's a lever in a pull that bird's not gonna be there isn't it I don't know it still is okay oh that thing's fucking creepy oh 
Oh, I don't like how that just opened up in my face. Get back on the train. Yeah, I'm a little bitch when it comes to horror games, but I, I really enjoy them. I think for number one, too, it just gives you some good content on uh, YouTube. Finger Lloyd. Do not shame me with that common folk name. I am the <laughs> hey there, Lloyd. the prestigious, the professional Lloydford L. Lyon. Actor extraordinaire. Great act, Lloyd. <laughs> Great act. This is like me and George's <laughs> conversations. All right. Am I supposed to go that way? No, I can't go back this way. Oh. So, what do you think? Pretty fun, right? Now you know all about my friends. And Lloyd. And Lloyd. <laughs> and George. The fuck is that? Can you... Can you zoom in on this game? Bro, that's a fucking bird. Hold up. Can I go behind the desk? Dude, it's a fucking bird. Oh, this bitch is crazy. Oh, man, that makes me... It was fucking following us, dude, the entire time. I knew I wasn't crazy when I saw the bitch. I knew I was not crazy. I thought I saw something. All right, my heart almost just sank into my ass. Alright. So, do I have like an inventory or... To see the collectibles or something that I have? Uh, guess not. Alright, I guess they're just actual collectibles. Alright. So, I'm assuming this is like the outlet of where all the rides and stuff would be. So yeah, there's Lloyd's over there. There's a little Ferris wheel back there. Um, let's, let's go over this way. Let's check out this one. Probably not going to be able to go into it, but just to take a little look. Yeah, no. Okay, we can't go in there. All right, so then I believe the only way only way we can go is to the right over here. But uh, let me just take a look over here real quick. See if there's any collectibles. I don't know if there's like a reward or whatever for collecting all the collectibles. It's probably not. It's just a horror game, but be pretty cool to collect them all, I guess. Oh, this thing's open. There we go. Some cookies, some donuts. I hope that's not mold, because that's nasty. That's just nasty. Alright. So we got the collectible, now we can keep going. Um, let's see. Buddy, come over here. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This door is open too. Take a look in here real quick before I go and talk to you. There we go. Collectible. Collectibles are very easy to find. I like it. It's not too too difficult. It's not like I have to look really hard for them. Just kind of explore a little bit more. You were over here at this thing. This here is an information kiosk. If there's anything around the park you want to ask me about, just stop by here and I'll ramble on about it. Oh, here are my collectibles. Oh, wow, so we only have four left to collect. I feel like, as a kid, Indigo used Lloyd a lot more. He was always one of my favorites. Uh, there's my buddy. Kind of feels like Rambly has a whole empire now, being the main man of Indigo and all. Yeah, I, I, I don't know to trust this guy, man. I'm just saying, I'm, later on, man, he might, might stab us in the back. Seems all friendly and... Cuddly and all that bullshit now, but I'm just saying. 
Headed down the line. You might just be the one to shove the knife in our back. All right. Uh, where do I go now? Over here. Wow, well, look at that! You're at Jetstream Junction. Oops, looks like Jetstream Junction's being tuned up. Last I checked, there's a security office in the back of the theater. Maybe a friendly wrangler can help you get in. Orange level. Okay, so if we need the orange thing, the only orange I saw was Lloyd Lloyd's place. So we gotta run all the way back over there. So let's go and let's go and explore over there. I was considering on streaming this on Twitch and playing it, and then uploading it to YouTube afterwards. But I don't know. I, I like to keep both of them a little bit separate. Like sometimes I'll take gameplay from Twitch, like I did in the uh, X Defiant video that I uploaded. But uh, I don't know. Uh, if you guys do want to check out, you know, uh, some of the games that I stream on Twitch and whatnot, uh, the link will be in the description. So you can go and you can follow us, uh, follow me on Twitch if you want to. And you know, I'm I'm pretty consistent with streaming. It's usually is that actually can I crouch? Oh wait, the thing just moved. Oh my god, it's actual. It's a real thing. Is it an animatronic though? Uh-oh. Uh, well, I guess we just encountered our first uh, hostile enemy this time. But anyways, like I said about Twitch, um, if you guys want to just swing by, say what's up, talk a little bit, I'll be on there. I usually stream uh, on Thursdays, Saturdays, and sometimes Mondays. Depends. Um, but yeah, if you get the notifications on on Twitch or whatever like that for whenever I go live, you'll be uh, you'll be good. behind the stage if you're going back there be careful your critter cop is not yet able to resuscitate you what resuscitate bitch what do you mean resuscitate oh my god i can never hear the piano okay can't go in there Um, I don't know, it's not very comforting to know that he can't see what's going on back here. As long as I... Oh my god. Dude, his eyes are like blacked out. To be honest with you though, his character model doesn't look very scary. I think if they made him look a little bit better, they just like made it look a lot nicer. Yeah. You're fucking creepy though, man. That's just creepy. That's kind of terrifying still. Oh man, dude, I. Oh, all right. Well, now the fear is starting to set in. I am not good with horror games. I don't even know if I want to like explore and look for collectibles in this bitch. I'm afraid that he's just gonna come after my ass. I'm not looking. Oh, he's jumping at me in here. Maybe not. Oh, right here. Yep, it's coming right here. No, it's not. Ah! Ah! Oh, let's get the shit out of me. <laughs> I should have kept my mouse shut. The character model doesn't look that intimidating. <laughs> Oh, that's fucking funny, though. Oh, man. I really hope because there's a sprint button that I don't actually have to sprint away from anything because that's fucking terrifying. It really fucking is. Alright, we found the thing. I hate how the door's open for me. It makes it even more freaky. Alright, let me check behind here. I really like this, uh, this flashlight sway thing. I know I've said it before. Before. I was expecting him to be looking at me through that window. 
Uh, can't open any of this. Nothing. I got the keys. Okay. We are, oh, chill, 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 chill. Who's fucking running around out there now? Oh my god, don't do that shit, man! Fuck! Dude, he's just running around out there. Is he outside the door? Oh man, why do I, why do I, why do I play these horror games, dude? They fucking scare the shit out of me, man. Oh, I don't like this. Oh man, he's gonna be right around one of these corners. I'm telling you, dude. Oh, now it's gonna get me. Now he's gonna get me through here. I hear him growling. Just book it. 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 He can't, he can't scare me if I'm running. I got a limited sprint. Fuck you, bitch. Go, 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 go. Open the door. Open the door. Oh, shit. He's right here. Okay. Open the door. Open it. Open it. Open it. Open it. Open it. Oh, you psycho bitch. Go back to your house. Go back to your birdhouse. Now I gotta deal with her, the, this bird. I'm telling you right now, though. That that one jump scare got me pretty good. But I feel like it would they could do a lot better with the character models. But I still think this is a very good game so far. I am going to be doing the entire chapter one in this game, uh, in this video as well. So I'm going to just, you know, s stick it out, suffer a little bit, and uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Up the clock up there. The head bob's pretty good too. I actually never noticed about the head bob. I was mainly focusing on the flashlight movement thing before, but the head bob's pretty good too in this game. Alright, so now we can unlock this and go inside. Say, why don't you check out Molly's rooftop races? It's not far from here, and it's a great warm up before we get into the bigger ride. Just take it up at Molly's landing pad. Alright. You guys got beer over here? Hold on. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Is that still the tiger growling? Are we going to have to deal with both of them at the same time? Alright, so we got to go up there where we're supposed to go to the rooftop races. Let's check out the rest of this place first real quick. I am curious as to... You know, why the park originally... There's more of the lore, I guess. Is there anything up here? No. Over here? No, it doesn't look it. Okay, let's go back down. Oh, look at this. They got a whole menu and stuff like that. The hot dogs. They got burgers. They got chicken sandwiches. There you go, George. Got some hot dogs right there for you, kid. I don't know how much you love your hot dogs. You guys don't know who George is. That's Geoclips. I see a collectible. Is that a collectible? That little white thing right there? I can't tell. It might be. I don't know how to get up there, though. But uh, let's take a look over here. Oh, I can play this? This is cool. 
Oh no, Molly's playing. Oh, I guess I should have been reading it. Oh. This is cool. Oh, shit. I, I just realized that that was an enemy. Yeah, I can double jump. Okay. Ooh, oh. Do you get a reward for collecting all these things? This music is so calming and it's a horror game, man. What the fuck? Oh, these two are making love back there. Oh! Gotta make sure I don't miss any of those little raspberries. Okay, I guess I don't go in there. Maybe I jump on top of this, though. Alright. This is really cool. There we go. Molly, what happened? Ugh. Hey, Rambly. I was just flying through the woods, but suddenly I couldn't see a thing. Looks like my smoke screen made her crash right on target. Salem! I should have known you were behind this, you shady skunk. Let her go. Nah. <laughs> nah. I was about to try my new potion on her instead, and I'm trying. I'm tired of wasting it on whatever is said. My look out. This is cool. This is really cool. Too slow, dumpster face. What did you do to her? Meet the new and improved Molly Macaw. Now with that, none of that garbage friendship stopping her from tearing you to pieces. The friendship garbage. I wonder what she really thinks of you now. Have fun finding out. Oh, here we go. Okay. Oh, got her ass. Oh, wait. Maybe she got me. I'm losing all my little raspberries. Man. Ah. The care ass? Did we win? Oh. Shit, that's how you get one of the collectibles. Was that thing always facing like that? I don't remember if that was always facing like that. Alright, last thing to check is over there. That's locked. So last place to go is the rooftop. So let's head up here. Uh, we can go right, or we can go left. Let's go left first, because... Okay. Yeah, this white thing was a collectible. I thought it was. So there's actually a decent amount of collectibles. I wonder if all of these uh, little collectibles are characters in the game, and that's how many we're going to have to eventually face. I don't... I don't know for sure, but it'd be pretty damn. No, this is horrible. Uh, looks like Molly crashed into the right again. Don't worry though, your pal Ramley has the repairman on speed dial. We're sorry. The number you have dialed has been disconnected or is no longer in service. Please check the number and dial again. Uh, say, why don't you check out Molly's landing pad? It's not far from here, and it's a great cooldown after that exhilarating ride. Just take a down from Molly's rooftop races. All right, so I'm assuming that's the door that was locked down there. Unless we... I think it was. I think the landing pad was out here. Yeah, okay. Sweet. All right, let's go next. Next little part 
of the uh, game. I already hate this. Alright, so, uh... What am I supposed to do exactly? Well, I can interact with these. Is there a star in this? Oh, there is! And all the lights just turned off. What are the odds I could guess that? I mean, it's probably pretty low, but crazy if I did. Oh, I'm not going to enjoy this at all. If only you guys could see my face. I know I don't have a face cam. I might do one eventually. With the look on my face seeing that bitch walk across here. Oh, shit. Oh, red star. Okay, so red is a star. Oh, I, I guess I gotta sprint across that. Alright. Okay, so red is a star. Red is a star. Just gotta remember that. Oh, if I gotta drop down, I think I can... I don't know, actually, if I can or not. I don't know if it'll kill me. Okay, so green triangle. Red star, green triangle. Red star, green triangle. Red star, green triangle. Son of a bitch. Alright. Here we go. Alright, red star, blue star, green triangle. Dude, don't do this shit. You didn't scam me, but... Red star, blue star, green triangle. Red star, blue star, green triangle. Red star... Blue star, green triangle. Now, can I just guess this one if I, since it's just the last one? Yeah, I can just guess it. Sweet. Yeah, don't need the last one if it's four options. Just spin through them. Sweet. Okay, we can get the fuck out of here now. All right, down the tube. Home free, ladies. Oh, never mind. Guess not. What does this do? I didn't do shit. Oh, wait, maybe that opens that. Maybe I just spammed it too many times? Well, that's not what happened out here. Okay. Okay, no, that doesn't open. Okay. Oh! Oh my god, I gotta fucking run. Oh shit! I died. <laughs> I did not know that, that this was going to happen. I did not know that you had to run away. Oh, man. You were caught by Molly McCaw. The death jump scare could have been a little bit better. Press E to respawn. Might not be the scariest thing I played. Definitely is fun, though. I will say that.
Definitely is fun. Okay, I gotta press the button again. That is it. That is just ass. All right. So we know she's gonna come straight out of that tube. All right, book it, book it, book it. Open, open, open. <laughs> Back and left. Fuck you, bitch. Go, 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 go. I don't even want to look behind me. I can tell she's close, though. Nope. Go, 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 go. I, I, she's right behind me. Oh, no. Is there no jump pad on that one? Go. Go! She's coming! Where am I supposed to go? Where was I supposed to go? There was nowhere to go! There was nowhere to go! Okay, so I, I literally could not make that jump. I can't make that one either. I'm assuming she's right behind me. She comes out of that tube. Oh, I go straight ahead. I'm an idiot. Oh no, I got stuck on the thing. <laughs> I got a collectible on the way, that's hilarious. Run! Dude, she's right on my ass. She's right on my ass. Oh my God. Is she faster than me? Am I gonna beat her if I go, uh, go and do this? Yeah, I'm here. Oh my gosh, she's right on my ass. She's right on my ass. She's right on my ass. Do something, do something. Oh, damn. These aren't animatronics. There's fucking blood coming out of them. Welcome to the Rambly Wranglers registered room. Here we got plenty of amenities. And, uh, okay, okay. I can see in your facial tracking that you're scary, angry, upset. Transparency is an important part of our policy here at Indigo Park, so I need to be honest about something. The park has been inactive for years. Employees stopped showing up. Yeah, two. The nurse stopped serving. I just was so excited to see a visitor, and I wanted to be sure you could spend the rest of your life possible. Oh shit, what the fuck did I just do? My water bottle just fell on my keyboard, and I have no idea what the fuck just happened. What the fuck just happened? Okay, I fixed it. I don't know, I don't know what happened, but I fixed it. Let's escape something. Sorry for the inconvenience. But, but, I have an idea. I have access to the repair documentation in my database. I just can't execute most tasks without authorization from a human user. You must have come here because the park matters to you too, right? Would you be willing to help me restore the park? Something tells me that... Your facial tracking data that you aren't opposed to this. Okay, so something tells me that needing a human thing, authorization or whatever like that, is going to be really, really bad for him. It's just going to bite us in the butt. Ramblies Wranglers register is to get out of the Ramblies Wranglers register room. <laughs> left towards the Rookie Wranglers register. Security room register. set yourself free. Phew, kind of exhausting to say that whole spiel. But Ramblies Wranglers register is a registered trademark. I think we gotta go that way. Uh oh, that Ramblies Wranglers room is only accessible by Royal Wranglers. Maybe one day you'll grow up big and strong enough to enter it. But for now, don't. But for now, don't. So we gotta go this way. We still got the collectible. I think we actually got all the collectibles. I think we got every single one. Show the park. Cameras. I don't see anything moving on them. All right. Let's 
So. All right. One way to go, and that's up. Let's do this. Okay, so we're back outside now. We got the little information. Did we get them all? We did get them all! Let's go! We got every single uh, little thing. I didn't even get an achievement for that. I right, can't go in there. Oceanic Odyssey. Oh, so maybe we do this one too? Alright, here we go. Yeah, it's gonna be creepy. This is gonna be really creepy. Hey, buddy. You okay? Oh, is that it? I'm tired. Do you need a moment? Don't worry, it's fine. I don't blame you for taking a rest after all that. Heck, I could go for a nice, relaxing defragmentation myself. But before you settle down, you up for a little survey to help us improve the park? Thanks for visiting Indigo Park. Hope all your <laughs> That's awesome. True. If you've got some time and you're up for a lark, stick around for the rambly review. I'm here to offer my best to each valuable guest I assist. And lots of happy feedback ensures I get to exist. Let's try it. Were you satisfied with the rides? Yes or no. Were you satisfied with your guide? I sure hope so. Do you plan to come back? Will I see you again? Did your experience convince you to tell a friend about us? Did I earn your trust? At Indigo Park. There is a stark contrast to every This is awesome. They get a whole little song at the end of this? This is awesome. Dark. You've given a spark of sunshine to this kingdom's faithful devotee at Indigo Park. This is amazing. These developers did a great job with this. They definitely made you have a good time while playing this. Rambly review part two to sell you on our task. I'm here to view and assess each valuable guest as I learn. And lots of happy feedback ensures you're gonna return. Right, I'm so happy you wrote a ride. And saw the show. I'm so happy this is so cool. <laughs> so come back anytime. I'd love to see you again. In all my thousands of days, I've never had a friend like you. At least I hope I do. Indigo Park. There is a stark contrast to everything I know this place should be. But out of the dark, you've given a spark of sunshine to this kingdom's faithful devotee. At Indigo Park, more than my remarks are mysteries, even I don't know what. Friends are united again, and I won't feel so left behind. Okay, I'll let you go. See you next time, buddy. Please. That was unbelievable. Props to the developers for this. This this was awesome. Like I said, the only criticism I would give the developers is to just make it more scary. Like, don't get me wrong, the chase was cool and all, but I wasn't scared during the chase. Like, and when I died, like, I died a couple of times. I died maybe, like, twice. And every time I died, I wasn't afraid to die. Like, it's not like I was going to get jump scared if I died. The jump scare wasn't, you know, scary, at least to me. I don't know if it's scary to any of you guys watching or anybody else that's played this. But to me, it didn't really scare me. But, you know, they got a good jump scare on me with the lion or whatever, which is pretty good. But, I mean, I think this was awesome. And, I mean, this game was free. 
This game was free. I didn't have to pay a penny to play the first chapter. I don't know if they're going to start, you know, uh, you have to buy a second chapter or whatnot. But this was amazing. Absolutely. And props to you guys for doing this. And the song at the end was the cherry on top. Honestly, that was fucking amazing. I was not expecting there to be a song at the end of this uh, game, which was fucking great. So, anyways, guys, that's going to do it. If you want to support these guys, go ahead and give the game a download. Play it. Uh, leave a review and, uh, you know, support them if you guys want to support them. But I thought this game was great. I hope they continue to make more chapters. I probably would play them. Um, but yeah, this was this was awesome. If you guys did enjoy this video, though, be sure to drop a like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.